Oh, hi guys. I'm going to be doing the strip down challenge in this video. I know I'm a bit late, but when am I not late? It's a really good video and it has a good message behind it. It's a response from Jonah Green and he watched the Esna O'Neill. I think that's how you pronounce her name, the Esna O'Neill video. And she spoke about how she thinks YouTube is fake. The people who do it aren't real and they're just acting or they just want to get like sponsorships and loads of subscribers. But I just wanted to speak about my experience on YouTube, why I started and how YouTube has changed. It has changed so, so much. And this video is great because it shows the real me. It will show the real you or any other YouTubers that you're watching. I think it's good because we're not all fake. We, we make videos for different reasons. We started our channels for completely different reasons. Some people were bored. Some people just really enjoy film, filmography. And yeah, let's just start. So in this video, there's going to be no edits, no cuts, no all of that funky music. Just me, just myself and the real beauty by Lanika, so I hope you like this video. The first thing I wanted to talk about was how YouTube has changed. I started my channel back in 2013 on the 30th of August, yeah August, and I was in year, year 9 I believe. I started it because I really didn't enjoy school, I didn't like the whole aspect of it. I liked learning and I thought really highly of my education, it was just, I, I didn't like school. I wanted to start a new hobby, I did my running, I did my dancing and singing, but that wasn't enough, I just wanted to get away from all that, get away from the negativity and do something where I felt safe and something that I really enjoyed. I got into makeup from a young age, I didn't wear it until I was about <laughs> I don't know how old was I, like 12, 13 when I first started to get acne and spots. That is another story we'll talk about another day, my acne and how it's starting to clear up and I'm really, really thankful for all the help from dermatologists I've received. But I don't know why I'm out of breath because I'm never really out of breath. But yeah, so where was I? I was talking about how I wanted to do a YouTube channel and I really love watching YouTube videos. The first YouTuber I started watching was Bubs Beauty and Michelle Fan and Kayla McKenzie. I always mention her just because she's my favourite YouTuber and I've been there from the start, girl. So if you're watching this, hi. I love makeup. I wanted to see how you do, I think it was red lipstick, like how you put it in properly. Because mum wouldn't let me wear foundation or concealer or anything on my face. I just heard that. What was that? I just heard the noise. Anyway, um, yeah, so I started my YouTube channel to get away from it all and it started off really, really fun. My old, my first video is still on this channel and my friend's like, Lanika, why don't you delete it? Why don't you delete all those old videos? I don't want to. I, I've thought about it, but I'm not gonna. Because I think YouTube is a way of putting yourself out there, but then at the same time, creating memories. So you can watch it back when I'm 21 and I'll be like, Lanika, baby Lanika. I wasn't that young, but yeah, I just really, I don't want to delete my old videos. But YouTube back then was really fun. People did it because they liked doing it. They had, there was, there was something they were passionate about and they just spoke about that purely. That's why I did it. And I'd say YouTube's changed. Hopefully I haven't changed. I know I've got older, but I haven't changed my love and passion for photography, filmmaking and fashion and beauty. But yeah, that's why I started YouTube. Now I know, I know it's going to be really controversial, but peop some people do do it for the, like, the sponsorships and for companies to send them stuff and they show it in videos. But doesn't that come with it? So that comes with the whole YouTube fame. I'm really happy, like, I have 369 subscribers to this day. I checked on my phone this morning and I'm so happy, like, I started off with nothing, with zero, I didn't think anyone would watch it, I just did it purely for, just for myself, to have a new hobby, to enjoy it and let other people learn or just take something away from that 
And now 360 people, that could fill, that could fill a massive room. And those people have clicked subscribe, I'm really thankful for that. And that's why I enjoy YouTube, because I'm giving something out. And even if it's just to one person, even if I make one person smile, that's all that really matters. And that is, that's the message behind my YouTube channel. And that's why I'm still going to stay loyal to my grounds. The next thing is positivity. So let's move it away from YouTube now. Positivity just in general, just in life. I think there's so much negativity in this world with everything that's been going on. And I just, I see people and they're not doing what they love. Okay, just listen to this for one minute. You have to do what you love because it's your life. You, I speak with my hands a lot, you just need to understand that we're not here forever. We, although we do stupid things, we need to make, I don't know why I'm getting upset, we need to make the most of the things we do. I just get upset because there's so many people and they're not doing what they love, they're doing something because they feel like they have to do it. Nothing is permanent unless you make it permanent. Um, oh, <laughs> I can't edit this out, <laughs> but yeah it's just it, there's a lot of people and they're just down they stay in their rooms a lot I had a friend like that I still do have a friend like that but yeah just meet new people because that's the one thing that I'm really really happy and what changed me is going to college actually starting college made me realize that I wasn't happy I I'm really really happy now obviously the whole um, motivation side that's still like with exams coming up and everything but I'm just so happy that I've met people who really like me for me and they don't care that I have acne or they don't care that I'm mixed race and they don't care about like silly things like that uh, like people used to pick on me for and then stop being interested in how other per others perceive you I mean like don't I mean, you still put makeup on, do your hair pretty, wear whatever you want, what you feel comfortable in. Because doing that, it makes you feel good. And if you feel good, you feel confident on the outside. And my voice is cracking up. But don't change yourself for other people. That's one thing that I've really learned this past year. 2015 has been up and down. But just don't change yourself for anyone. Um, and just be happy. I think I've nearly done 10 minutes. I'm just checking on the viewfinder. I know I don't really like looking at the viewfinder. I prefer looking it directly into the lens, but it's kind of difficult with this whole new setup. And I'm always in my lounge. Well, not always in my lounge. This is my second video that's been filmed in my lounge. I like being in here because it's got room for me to move about and dance. And yeah, I really like it. But do what you love have a lot of fun while you're 16, 17, 18, go to gigs, go to concerts, go out with your friends, just have fun, go to church, spend time with your mum, go shopping with your dad, start baking, help out in the garden, do some volunteer work, just yeah, life's really short and this past year I've realised that and you just be yourself and have a lot of fun while you're young because you never get these years back and I know they're like enjoy your school years because they're the best years of your life well actually college is the best year of your life I will assure you that with that um, but that is <laughs> I know I just ramble on and my friends say Lanika you start on one topic and you just go boom 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 but I just I have loads of these different ideas and I just want to let them out but it's really difficult for me to put it into like perfect sense I mean I just I just want to say it all but then I need to slow down but I really hope you've enjoyed listening to me hearing my side of YouTube I suppose and some little advice at the end but that is 10 minutes I've spoken for and I just, I hope you have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, stay happy, stay strong, and keep smiling because you're one in a million. But I've, today, because it's Friday, I've got a filming day and I've got to do homework before I go to work. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye!